Welcome once again to a Me Brawler crew battle. This time, the Brawlers are going up against the Shotos, that is, Ryu and Ken. Ken, unless you are an ultra purist, in which case Ken is not a Shoto and Ryu is the only Shoto, which begs the question why it's not just called a Ryu. Hello, Neurotoxin. Oh. I forgot some things to set up, so you guys just keep doing what you be doing. There we go. Gotta have that. Today's been a little bit, a little bit crazy. As you can see from the stream title, we have more plans after the crew battle. And there's our scores. All right. So it looks like Free GC is going to be our first brawler. Double check my, uh, double check our, uh, our list of fighters. I have the brawlers. I do not know all of the Shotos that will be competing yet. I will not be participating in this crew battle. There were apparently many signups for the brawlers. So you will not get to see Rai in action. I'll just sit down there, be in Rai, like the bread. Show toes. Oh, there will be lots of toes tonight. I won't regret saying that. First match, Free GC versus our first Shoto. Free is using uh, 1332, looks like. Actually, all of our primaries are using the same uh, same brawler move set. Rocking Dan Hibiki, of course, because who else would the brawlers be? Looks like they chose Northern Cave. Free taking a lot of early damage, lands a suplex to uh, quickly even some of this out into a thrupper, not quite a kill. More suplex, and just like that, Brawler takes the lead. What? Was that a spot dodge? I didn't even catch that. Suplex dealing a meaty 22%. It's a very easy way to quickly catch up in damage. And the Thrupper gets the first kill. Yeah, Dan has become something of a thing in the Me Brawler Discord. 
Ryu uses his own thrupper to take Dan's stock. It's not even free anymore, it's just Dan. And again, I don't have the Shoto's lineup on hand, so I will just have their in-game names to refer to. With uh, Free GC versus TTV Axon. TT Vaxon? Mostly Ken's in the lineup. Ryu, I'm told, is the more projectile heavy of the two. Free attempting to ledge guard with shot putt. Ryu manages to dodge it. They didn't dodge that one. Lands a focus punch, but it is an aerial focus punch. Free kills with the faint jump kick. I don't actually know where the Shoto stand in terms of viability. People were pretty down on Ryu for a little while, but I think uh, I think that attitude has changed at least a little bit. I think people are opening up to Ryu. Another kill off of uh, Free GC. This is a very close opening match. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't go for a thrupper there. He's out of the percent where it's a true combo. Ooh, the Shoryuken. Does not finish free. Ryu is off stage. Another faint jump kick. He's landing a lot of those. Oh, he went for it. That's all right. Good try, Free. Another suplex for another meaty set of damage. This is incredibly close. Another shot put. Ryu's taking a lot of hits, but either one of them could go down with a finisher at this point. Nair. Late Nair. Oh, and an, an eager thrupper. Shoryuken still doesn't kill. Mmm. The up smash finishes it. Free at 135 damage, ekes out a victory. That is two points off of the Brawlers and three off the Shotos. There we go. All right, who is our next Shoto on the lineup? Most brawlers decided that uh, Thrupper is preferred for this matchup. Mostly due to, or in large part due to Focus Punch. Because it can tank a single hit. Soaring Axe Kit, Soaring Axe Kick, has two hits, but I believe there's time to act out between the two hits. Both Thrupper and Helikick have multiple hits, but uh, Helikick is easier to uh, easier to miss the multiple hits on. Learn an ad? Is that like is that like a, an accented lemonade? Is learn an ad? Free has chosen his bands.
All right, free GC and learn an ad. The Ken. The Ken. Oh, my throat is dry today. Free will take off his first two stocks. And taunt to start. They're good. As is the rules with uh, crew battles. Both sides start with a set amount of stocks, that being 15. And they are consistent throughout the crew, crew battle. So Free will continue fighting until he loses all three of his stocks. Free landing a couple of up tilts. Remember when Mario could do that? Thrupper not quite enough to kill. He goes for another one. Them Thrupper ladders are fun. More so la uh, juggling than ladder. Ooh, interrupts the faint jump. That's it. He cannot, you can't faint jump again without touching land. Free goes down, almost gets a stock off. That is one more off the brawlers and we are evened up. Tetra has joined us from the Great Sea to challenge Lermanad. Lermanad? Who is that? That is Gagel? Okay, that's Gagel. Hello, hockey. We are down to a four-man crew battle, yes. That's the best kind, though, because, you know, they stay even. Maybe it will remain this close the entire time. I think it was the, uh, the Wario crew battle, where the brawlers got an early lead with... I think BMZ took like eight stocks, and it wasn't until the very tail end that the Wario's got an anchor that also took eight stocks. And it ended up being a one difference. BMZ took seven. Ready? What Street Fighter me do you want to see? I, 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 I'm sorry, I've never played Street Fighter. So Sakura? We should we should have a sailor suit for the Mies. I'm surprised we don't. Alright, Gagel. Gagel, playing as I don't know who that Mii is. Rocking the same set as Free GC and most of our other Mies. Early suplex taking the damage lead with shot putts. Ooh. Missed the offstage one, but that's okay. He's got some meaty damage on Ken. The projectile will continue after being hit, but I believe it loses its hitbox after it clanks with something. Honestly, I'm a little bit out of practice with shot put. I've been uh, relying a little too much on my FMP sap. Uh, F smash from Gagel takes the first Ken stock. That F smash has a lot of end lag, but boy, if it hits. That was an optimistic shot put, and he got punished for it. Gage, what are you doing using shot put on the ground? Another suplex. Back with that big damage lead. 80%. Ooh, the Thrupper doesn't connect. Ken kind of just throwing stuff out. 
He's landing a few hits. Definitely a much more combo heavy character than Ryu is. Another optimistic uh, Shoryuken. He recovers in time to do a spot dodge though. Dealing heavy damage to heavy shield damage to Gagel. This is the, this is a very purple match. A thrust uppercut takes out another stock off of uh, of Lernin. Oh, was there a lack of DI that happened? Gagel with lots of shot puts in neutral. Interrupts the suplex before the grab can hit. And a Shoryuken takes a stock off of Gagel. This is another close match. If we had Deadpool as a character, can his dare be a lag spike? Oh, the Thrupper! Up towards the blast zone! Gagel takes the match! Thrupper is dominating today. Big Lord, I'm sure, is very pleased about this fact. Big Lord, are you pleased? Big Lord is pleased. All right, Gagel patiently awaits for his next victim. I mean, opponent. No bias from me. I want both sides to win equally. I see is also a fan of Thrupper. I get greedy with it. Is why it usually messes with me. I I, I go for too many uh, top blast zone kills. Pocket sword also good. We recently learned that uh, there was a glitch in the Smash Ultimate mod, the training mod, and that the the hitboxes for Soaring Axe Kick are not quite as big as the visualization that we had. Still, it, I, we didn't, we never fully settled it. It seems like they're bigger than the GIFs in the Ultimate Frame data, but not as big as the training mod suggests. Gagel versus Chironic. Brawler versus Ken. Gagel takes off two of his stocks. Alright, 1v3. Gagel's got this. More purpley. It's, very, it's a very purple day. I don't know where purpley derply is at. Oh, he's one of our subs, is purpley derply. Thrupper breaks through focus. Shot put off stage. Oh, Thrupper doesn't quite finish it. He's getting a lot of Thrupper opportunities, though. Ooh. Okay, he's fine. Faint jump kick, not quite enough. Air dodges the Thrupper just barely. Sure you can, again we're tied up, nine to nine.
Yeah, dude, you should practice more, says Ken, after a one-stock versus three-stock match. I tried to get some friendlies throughout the week of the uh, joint matchup. But I never got any, uh, I never got any Shoto friendlies. It's been a, uh, somewhat busy week. Driving school bus. Until yesterday. Friday, we got snowed in. We had a snow day. Everything's closed. I didn't think it was going to stick because it was very wet outside, but it did in fact stick. And so I thought, well, I'll just go out the next day. I can go one day. I got some MREs. And it's thicker today. So, I am thoroughly snowed in. Just eating rice and beans. And that's my weekend. It's all over the states, though. New York has apparently hit uh, pretty heavily with the snow. I'm up in the Pacific Northwest. Ready? Number one Dan fan, Danley Neurotoxin. Takes on Chironic, 9 to 9. Looks like they chose Battlefield for their stage. And we have another Dan, of course we do. Different Dan. All Dans are equal. Except maybe Dan Rather, I hear things about him. Neurotoxin taking a lot of early hits. Can he pull it back? He gets a combo. Doesn't he doesn't land the suplex? Ken rocking the D tilts. There's a suplex. All right, he's bringing it back a little bit. He's got a got a bit of a damage difference to close. And the sure you can takes a stock off of Neurotoxin. Where are the Shotos in weight? They're they're pretty heavy, aren't they? Top 50% anyway. Another spot dodge suplex. He's having a lot of trouble landing those. And F-Tilt takes Neuro's second stock. Ken doing all the combos. This is about how Ken versus Dan would probably go. Was that a was that a jab lock? A jab lock? Lands a suplex up to 100 damage. Optimistic Thrupper, though shielded. Oh! Okay, he's still alive. He needs to land a finisher to take at least one stock. They're dead even at 102. Faint jump kick lands. There's the Thrupper. Not now, Jack. Oh, he takes a stock. There's the bear. Be a heck of a comeback from Dan if he takes another one. Oh, there it is. That is three off the Brawlers and one off the Shotos.
When does Thrupper kill? It depends on the height of the stage and the opponent. Uh, on triplats like Battlefield and especially Yoshi's Island because of the... Uh, is it Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's Story? The triplat with the low ceiling, it can kill as early as like 20% uh, on Bowser Jr. It might kill Pichu at zero on Yoshi's. It, it is ludicrous with uh, down throw to Thrupper is true as well at low percents. So never take a brawler with thrust uppercut to try plats. I like cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? All right, BMZ. MVP of the Wario Crew Battle. Also rocking the same moveset. On small battlefield. Chironic will have to take off his first stock. Start with a taunt. There you go. Does anyone know BMZ's me? He's very dapper, whoever he is. Oh no! G. Okay. That's okay, BMZ was just evening the playing field. Ultimate Chad wants a fair match. Up smash doesn't go for the Thrupper. Probably wise. I would have been greedy there. Dance around a bit with Faint Jump. Can land some of his D tilts. Brawler counters with his own D tilt. Up smash doesn't quite kill. Thrupper does not connect. Hit him with the super duper attack. Still doesn't kill. That's what I think the sequel to Dragon Ball Super is going to be called. It's going to be called Dragon Ball Super Duper. He's got to grab. What's he going to do with it? F throw because Brawler has no kill throws. Ooh, shot put. Was that a two frame? Kind of. Close enough. Raw up smash. Ooh, parries the nair. You can't parry the nair. That's all brawlers got. Sure, you can take the stock. They are both even stocks. BMZ hanging out on the bottom level. Not interested in those platforms. Ooh, Ken's getting those combos. Faint jump right in Ken's face. Ken does nothing about it. More details. And down smash. BMZ takes the match. How many stocks was it? BMZ lost two stocks, did he not? So that would be two off of both sides.
So we are down to our final two Shotos and our final two Brawlers. Big Lord is also on the roster. So, unless BMZ carries us to victory right here, we'll get to see Daddy Big Lord in action. Shotos are at 103, which puts them just below Captain Falcon, Yoshi. That's still kind of it's heavyweight tier, just about. The brawler down at 94 with the likes of Ness and Inkling. I figured the Shotos were heavier. I didn't know by uh, quite how much. It's always odd to me to see that Gunner is the heaviest me. I don't know why. I guess I, guess I always kind of... I, I think of that for, like, uh, Sword Fighter. Because he feels a little bit more sluggish. Maybe that's just me, though. tough fitting both of the uh, both the Shotos on one banner so Ken is just kind of peeking over Ryu's shoulder like hey hey is it my turn yet am I gonna fight get out of the way Ryu of me gunner's thickness has now entered chat it is worth noting that banjo and kazooie are still thicker than me gunner by two weight values <laughs> you uh you weren't here for the Banjo crew battle, were you? We had lots of thick Banjo. Sparky. Who is the Pog of the day? Oh no, that's not a Pog, that's... A handsome Squidward, but Adachi? Oh, it's the it's the it's the tennis Steve, but handsome Squidward. What a bizarre emote. Okay, Sparky versus BMZ. Three, two, one, go! And BMZ will have to take off two of his stocks, right? There he goes. All right. Early neutral shock put. Ryu. Looking like Ken with those details. Oh no, a second time. BMZ gets flaccidly detilted into the abyss. Give it your all. He just poked him with his big toe, and that's all it took. It is now 6-3, to three, with Big Lord being our only chance at salvation. Let's 
That's it, it's the show toes. They come to show toes. Why are they called Shotos? Someone is about to type a novel in chat explaining to me why they're called Shotos. Well, I know what makes a Shoto a Shoto. It's, it, it's, the, it's like degree of similarity to Ryu, more or less, but... Is, is it like the name of Ryu's fighting style? Okay. I don't know, I'm more a fan of uh, Bakis. Can we add Bakis to Street Fighter? They haven't gotten there yet. Jack and I are watching the Baki, uh, the anime. And there has not been any key or energy projectiles. It's... A, a stupid, crazy, manly buff series, but they haven't gotten, uh, they haven't done Hadoukens yet. In the anime. The manga goes a little bit further, and I understand there's a part with a dethawed caveman, or something. It's a stupid show, but it's entertaining stupid. Biscuit. Biscuit Oliver. This is a trend, at least two extremely buff anime characters named Biscuit. Between Biscuit Oliver and Biscuit Kruger and Hunter Hunter, Biscuit is the, the muscliest, manliest anime name. Also, Biscuit Oliver just looks like a jacked Eddie Murphy. And I kind of love that. Years on Netflix was so good. It, it I, I didn't like how much it did like like shock value early on. It, it kind of toned that down as it went on, but it was definitely it was going for that for the views more than the original Baki anime was, and it was it was noticeable. Also, that one or two awkward points in the dub where they try to insert political commentary that wasn't in the original. I heard that's been happening with dubs lately. And that was the only time I saw it myself. Big Lord versus uh, Sparky. Ryu versus... Who is Big Lord playing? He's playing a bear. Big Lord is playing a Kuma. Suplex into D-throw, into Thrupper. Not enough to kill a meaty boy like Ryu, but... Still free damage. Big Lord playing from Portugal. I imagine the delay cannot be great. Brawler, a fairly technical character who doesn't do well with online delay. Oh, the Shoryuken. There's no coming back from that. It would be great if Big Lord was able to win this for the Brawlers, but I would be happy just to be able to see our final, uh, our final Shoto. I can see the lag happening. Thrupper's still not enough to kill... He does another one just to show off. That seemed accidental. Mm. That was an affair, uh, I believe. Dare also does not kill. Ryu is a thick boy. Sure you can take an uh, yeah sure you can takes another stock off of Big Lord.
detilts into the red hotakin. I don't know what it's called. I don't play Street Fighter. It's a hotakin and it's red. So uh, people reacted when they saw the name Sparky. I'm guessing he's a he's a fairly well known player. Big Lord gets a stock off Sparky. Oh, that does it. And the crew battle ends with a score of 5-0. We did not get to see the final Shoto. At least he defeated Akuma. That's how it's supposed to end, right? When you think about it, Big Lord kind of did this to himself. Well, that is the end of the Me Brawlers and Shoto's joint matchup crew battle. If you'd like to stick around, then me and some friends are going to be doing Spelunky 2 with four players, which Spelunky 2 is pretty crazy with one player. It's going to be Mar Mario Party Bonkers with four players. I've never played it before. I, I really want to try. It's going to be fun. So stick around if you're interested in that. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you Smash fans later.